So I'm here with Dan Glimne, Dan Glimne uh, from right. Sweden, who's an ambassador for Univet. Exactly. You see the patch and everything? Uh, amazing, Dan. How long have you been with uh, Univet? This is my 10th year, actually. None of the Swedes have had a longer contract than I've had. Okay. Uh, so how do, you, how do you like it in Copenhagen? Oh, I love the city, actually. It's a wonderful city to walk around. It's still a bit cold. I'd like it a little warmer, but no complaints. It must be uh, pretty pl uh, pleasant to see the, the, the Phil tournament. It's absolutely sold out. What do you think I about know, that? I know. It's amazing. They're aiming for squeezing a few extra, aiming to see whether we can get 450 players. Mm. Uh, nice. So there's two starting days. Uh, do you prefer to play the first starting day? Usually the, the opposition is slightly easier to deal with on day 1A than mm. day 1B. Actually, mm. that's my experience. So for those who haven't played Unibet Open yet, do you know approximately how many you played? I don't know. I haven't played all of them. I've played most of them, but I have to go back and check my files. I don't know. Offhand. For those who haven't played Unibet Open, uh, tell them a few reasons why they should come and, and try to qualify for, for some in the future. Because of the wonderful company. You meet so many friends. The faces, the organization is perfect. There's a play party on Saturday. You can't complain. Oh. And all the side games. Excellent. I wish you good luck and maybe we talk later on, Dan. Okay. Thanks, Rickard.